watching TV6 News. Well, round two of the John Deere Classic is underway on the course, but there's a lot of behind the scenes work that goes into making the JDC happen. TV6's Brianna Baylog joins us now live from TBC Deer Run. And Brianna, you had the chance to experience a day in the life of a JDC grounds crew member, right? I did, and it's the little things, right? Like the ropes you see all along the course, the mulch, or even picking up and placing tees. And that's all thanks to the grounds crew, or better known as the grunt crew. And I had the chance to see what they do firsthand. We tell people you couldn't pay us to do it, but we do it for free. I replaced Pat. That's Tony Brzezowski, who has volunteered at the John Deere Classic for 33 years and is now co-chair of the grounds committee. I seen an ad in the paper one day that said, you know, call volunteer, and uh, I just got hooked. It's just everything that we do for the community, uh, the people you meet. Um, you get to meet some players and stuff like that, but. It's like a family out here. The Grunt Crew started in 1992 with only about nine volunteers, and today it's made up of 50. The Grunt Crew is uh, probably seven to eight committees. We have electrical signs, ecology, um, on-course concessions, uh, communications. Um, it's all mostly out of the outside of the rope type of stuff. Brzezowski showed me around the course and what all his volunteers do. We fill them up in the mornings and we can't constantly have uh, groups go by and you know every couple hours we fill them. And the most rewarding part of it all? The birdies for charity you know at the end of the year we raise last year was 14 million dollars. It's just amazing that a little community like this can do that much between the birdies and the economic impact, um, the camaraderie, the friendship that we have. Like I said I met you know, mayors, businessmen that I'd never thought I would ever meet. It's just an incredible, incredible feeling. And 33 years is a long time to volunteer, right? So I had to ask him what made him keep wanting to volunteer. And he said the people, the charity, and the beautiful golf course. Live in Silvis, Brianna Baylog, TV6 News. Awesome. Thank you, Brianna. Now he says a typical day of volunteering for him starts at 5 a.m. and ends at about 8 p.m.